Today is March 15th, 2022. Very fandom news here on GFTV News. Welcome to the program. Planning to go to Texas Ferry Fiesta or TFF? Go for it. They are holding in person this year. But there are some things to take note of. To enter the Furcon, you need to show documents proving you are vaccinated or tested negative for COVID-19. But on March 8th, TFF clarified your COVID test must be a lab-based one, for example, polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. That means no self-tests, like antigen rapid tests or ART. All COVID tests must be done after March 15th. Ferry Weekend Atlanta or FWA invited musician Ferry Rai Shigagi, better known as FRND, to perform at their 2022 event. Mr. Ferry collaborated with musician Black Bear in a song called Anxiety. The song collaboration won a RIAA gold record. So how did Ferries think about Mr. Ferry going to FWA? They didn't like it, while claiming they quote promoted non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. Ferries assumed this because Mr. Ferry reportedly quote engaged and followed pro NFT accounts. Ferries even add they are unhappy at FWA for inviting someone who is not a fairy. But the allegations remain highly questioned by many fairies. One user points out firing at someone only because they shared someone else's post is a huge stretch. A short note, NFTs are very contentious in the fairy fandom because that often connects with big concerns about climate change. After months of public nominations, the Ursa Major Awards published 2021 nominees. 14 categories from fursuits to games and literature, 5 nominees each. Fairies can now place their votes for their nominees. Voting ends March 31st. Since their first awards ceremony in 2001, the Ursa Major Awards turns 21 this year. But as something that's aimed at fairy culture globally, not all fairies know about it. Coming thus far, what's their next step in the community? Any potential in them? GFTV's editor-in-chief for Channel One says yes, adding they deserve more attention around the world. It is that time of the year again. The Anthropomorphic Literature and Arts Association, ALAA, presents the annual Wuzamayu Awards better known as the Annual Anthropomorphic Literature and Arts Award. The ALAA has been active since 2001 and began as the awards committee of the conference group. It was founded on the initiative of Fred Patton, who is considered one of the founders of the furry culture. The idea was to award a prize for outstanding work in the furry fandom like the Hugo Award does it in the science fiction domain. However, in 2003 it became apparent that the committee was limited by a conference. Therefore, the ALAA separated and became a standalone organization in 2004 to broaden the scope. Overall, the long list of various categories and sections reads like a burning glass of furry culture, just as one would expect in more mainstream organizations for the same purpose. All of this comes with a fair amount of effort. Running the awards and selecting the candidates makes an important contribution to our society, just as volunteering is essential to any society. Hardly anyone else would take the trouble to create a burning glasses of culture through which you can see much more with little effort than you could see on your own. And that's why it's clear to me the Uzamayo Awards deserve more attention. A work like this thoroughly deserves to be replicated by Furtubers and by all of us on social media. After all, we are part of the same culture that is advanced primarily by our small, everyday contributions. Talking about fairy culture, there is no such thing as you cannot get fairy outside the fandom. A recent incident in Singapore proves it. 
On March 10th, a family of 16 otters appeared outside the Singaporean Presidential Office, or the Istana. They want us to cross Orchard Road, a heavily used road. Seeing this, the Istana's security guards quickly moved to close the road. That is so the otters can cross safely to the other side. The videos went viral on social media. Quoting one TikTok user who also filmed the same incident from a bus, I thought the president was leaving the Istana. It turns out to be another group of VVIPs. That's all Fairy Fandom News. Install GFTV's News Hub app or follow our Telegram channel for more fairy news. Have a great and wonderful fluffy day.